Hello and welcome to our favourite games of EGX 2024 video. The event may have been a mixed bag for many reasons and even in its limited selection it still showcased some excellent games and in this video we are going to highlight 8 of our favourites from EGX that we think you should keep an eye out for. Links to the Steam page for every game we mention can be found in the video description. Don't forget if you enjoyed the video please consider subscribing and sharing it far and wide. With that said, let's jump into the first game. Eternal Life of Goldman is a vibrant yet dark adventure that weaves together legends, fairy tales and myths. You arrive at the archipelago on a strange mission to kill the deity, a mystical creature that everyone talks about but no one has seen. To find the deity you will have to delve deep into the many secrets these islands keep. You will discover a place marked by tragedy and filled with eccentric characters and remarkable contrasts. The animated graphics on offer in the demo were of high quality, with a detailed polish to them. The main mechanic of Goldman's cane, where you use it to jump and attack, was implemented extremely well. This cane can be upgraded to give new abilities like a higher jump or a more powerful attack. What was different here was that the game encourages you to flip flop between the upgrades depending on the area you are in. Sometimes that high jump became more of a hindrance, especially in low roofed areas. We're really excited to see more of the Eternal Life of Goldman and hopefully we will have more info on its release date very soon. In Sono Kuni, you take on the role of Takaru, a lone assassin tasked with a surreal superpower empowered by biotechnology. Join in her struggle to balance the morality of extreme violence against the defense of her own people in a story inspired by real life Japanese mythology. <laughs> Developed by the Don Yasa crew, a Japanese hip-hop band during lockdowns, we were enamoured by its puzzle-like strategy that you need to use to clear each room. With its hardcore combat and in-your-face music and visuals, it's an experience that we still haven't forgotten about. Sonokuni is still slated for this year, so hopefully we will not have long to wait for its full release. Join Nico and Luna on their quest in Nico de Rico, a vibrant platform adventure when the duo discovers an ancient relic on a magical island, the villainous Grimbald of the Cobring Gems Company snatches it away. To save the island and its tribes, they must navigate seven unique worlds with the help of their animal friends and defeat the Cobring army. With family-friendly design and couch co-op, Nico de Rico promises a magical mystery journey for all ages. The game attracted us through its lush, smooth and vibrant visuals and its intriguing platforming. It gave off a strong vibe of early 2000s 3D platform games, but told through a mostly 2D angle. The camera and plane area do swivel around to different angles and perspectives, which kept the gameplay fresh and interesting. It also harks back to earlier times through its many collectibles and fun bosses. It also has a great soundtrack composed by the legendary David Wise. Nico Dorico is out now on the Nintendo Switch, Xbox and PlayStation. In Blueprints, you embark on a genre-defined experience, whereby upon reaching a closed door in Mount Holly, you decide what room appears behind it, and each decision shapes your path as you navigate through the manor. Every door can reveal new and exciting chambers that contain their own unique challenges and secrets, but be careful how you draft, for each day the manor's floor plan resets, and the rooms you see today may not be the same rooms you see tomorrow. Blueprints is a perfect example of what an indie game can be. Innovative and fresh gameplay made this one of our favourites of the show. The concept of creating the rooms as you explore is genius, and it worked really well in the game. Throw in a mysterious plot and you've got the makings of a possible game of the year material. No release date yet, but it can't come soon enough. What? 
Yuka Replaylee is the definitive remastered and enhanced version of the 2017 3D indie platforming collectathon Ukulele, developed by key creative talent behind the Banjo Kazooie and Donkey Kong Country games. New remix challenges and old favourites await as you embark to explore the huge, beautiful open worlds as the lovable Yuka and Laylee, all while backed by a beautiful orchestral soundtrack. We were a backer of the original ukulele, and although Platonic managed to capture the essence of old school 3D platformers like Banjo Kazooie, there was much that didn't vibe with many players. So we were very excited to play the demo of the newly announced and much needed remaster, and I am pleased to say it is looking and playing very nicely. New features include a map, new currency, and plenty of customizable options. It will certainly be there day one when it releases at some point next year. In the second Platonic title of the video, Victory Heat Rally, you power slide your way through a dynamic and vibrant 2.5D world with gorgeous pixel perfect visuals. Crank up the volume with a soundtrack full of energy as you drift your way to victory through the many different tracks, with a variety of game modes on offer including solo or up to four player split screen. You're gonna need an energy pretzel to keep up with all this excitement. Right. Holy smoke! The main focus here is on the drift, as the longer you drift, the bigger boost you'll get afterwards. This really is needed if you want to get onto the top of the leaderboards. There's also a lot of arcadey fun to be had here that is elevated by the game's gorgeous visuals and sounds. Victory Heat Rally is out now on the Nintendo Switch and PC. Cat Astrophic is a roguelite city destruction game where you play as a giant kaiju cat rampaging across the city to cause as much destruction as possible in a quest to save her baby kittens. Swipe with paws, use telekinesis to pick up and throw debris or objects and cause a massive explosion of destruction. Rescue kittens to gain power-ups that will augment your abilities while taking on a host of enemies and random bosses that will be out to stop you in any way possible. Even though the game uses ragdoll physics, it's not as full on as in other games. The destruction was so satisfying, with carnage happening all over the place. It was impressive too that the game ran well despite so much occurring on the screen at once. Catastrophic has no release date yet, but hopefully we'll see the full game at some point in 2025. This is the journey of Ren, a 20-something shepherdess who gets thrown into a multiversal conflict while on a fetch quest to find her lost flock. She'll have the fates of her friends in her hands and you will have to help her make the difficult choices. Will she prevail? Will anyone survive? Why does everything pseudo-mystic have quantum in the title? These questions are more, or fewer, may or may not be answered in the full game. Quantum Witch Spectrum style graphics were one reason it grabbed our attention, but it includes something else that really captured me. It might be because Mr. Biffo himself, Paul Rose, helped with the writing and Jordan Cook, who created our podcast music, is credited with the soundtrack. But I think it's mostly down to the game's not too serious, though it's really bad, take on the story that was the real reason. It also just threw a lot at me within a short space of time that just made me smile. Plus the video game character cameos that were found in the demo were a really nice touch. Quantum Witch will hopefully be with us in June of 2025. That's all we have for you this time and we hope we've introduced you to a few new games. As I said at the beginning, links to the Steam page for all the games we've mentioned can be found in the video description. Thanks so much for watching and until next time, take care and happy gaming.